What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today is kind of a special video. You guys have asked about problems and issues I've had with the Dodge Challenger over the time. And today, the Green Monster, AKA the 2020 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack broke 20,000 miles. That's right. <laughs> That's right guys, the Challenger has broken, look at that pollen, Jesus Christ, hold on, let me get a, oh, look at this, hold on, look at this, look at this, there we go, 20,000 miles, now today, this car goes on the trailer, uh, on the way to Texas, it'll be one of the cars that I'll be running while I am there, so, short video today, but let's have a little bit of a discussion of um, the issues, the cost of maintenance, um, or just my general cost of ownership of this uh, 2020 Challenger Scat Pack manual, by the way. Hashtag save the manuals because, you know, this right here, it looked a little wrong. I shouldn't be grabbing it like this, huh? <laughs> I know y'all going to be laughing in the, in the comments. But overall, I've thoroughly enjoyed the car. Let's talk about my total cost of maintenance and what I think about it after 20,000 miles. So I'm out here at Fort Bragg today, and the mandated have to wear a mask on government property all the time thing, I gotta be honest, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, I had to come out here for a bottle of Hennessy, we'll get into that here in just a minute. But first, let's take a quick look at the car. You guys have asked, like, have I got any road nicks or dings or things of that nature? No dents, per se, but definitely got some uh, rock chips like here, here. They're very small. I will say this, the F8 green does do a decent job to try to hide it, but they stick out to me, I see them. There's one right here that's actually in the paint, not on the plastic. And there's a couple like up the hood too, which was a little shocking to see some of the ones they caught. But for the most part, considering all the miles and all the travel I've done in this car, it's held up um, exceptionally well to uh, road nicks and things. Now, I got some on the side of the car, which probably won't show up right now, but there's like one here. There's like two on the door that came from uh, rock chips. But outside of that, it's been pretty good. Now, let's talk about maintenance costs because I know you guys want to know about that. Oh, man. Some people are like, well... I want to stay with an RT because I don't want to pay scat pack maintenance prices. And to be honest with you, you know, the people that told you that, they they just played you, dog. They just they just played you out. They wanted you to, they wanted you to buy the RT because they couldn't get a scat pack in by telling you that the maintenance, damn, look at the pollen, man. Pollen everywhere. I am sick of this, man. Whew. Man. I'm sick of that, man. Pollen everywhere, boy. Man. All right. Let's talk about maintenance pricing, how much stuff costs, and how you can kind of offset that. Now, oil changes in this car because for whatever reason, this scat pack takes a lot of oil. I believe it's like seven quarts uh, is what it takes. Seven quarts of oil. You know, that's not a small amount. That's a lot. So when you go get a synthetic 040 oil change on this, you're going to pay money for the oil change. I don't understand. Maybe my camera's touching something on the screen. I guess. Um, let me wipe this off too real quick. All right. So oil changes average about 110 to 120, depending on where you get it done. And um, and all of that. Now, I've got mine done in Texas for pretty much every oil change because this car goes back and forth to Texas from North Carolina to Texas. Sorry, I'm, like, I'm seeing stuff and, and, and I'm trying to keep my car uh, fairly clean. I don't like to be those 
nasty people you see at Copart with their ragged out nasty cars because they wasn't maintaining nothing. But damn, man, the, the pollen. God, I'm sick of this pollen. Anyways, so we're looking at like 120 bucks, right? Now, you could save that cost by buying your own oil, plus you can use a higher quality oil. Now, the places I go to, there's a place called Caliber Auto Care. They're in Kingwood, Texas. Every time I'm in, like, the Houston area, that's normally where I go. And if they're busy, I go to Express Oil Change, which is kind of in, um, uh, Tom, up near Tomball, Texas. Those are the two spots I go, um, if I'm traveling. Because I'm usually traveling, like, to Texas or back, right? And then if I'm home, I do my own damn oil change. I got these old ramps. You buy them, they're like 50 bucks at AutoZone. You drive the car up onto the ramps, which lets you get under the scat pack. And you literally pull the one plug, change out your oil filter. You know what I'm saying? Make sure all the oil drains out, right? Put the plug back in, refill it with oil with the seven quarts that you need. And that's it. It's really, it's really pretty simple. I think my thing is tripping. That's why I'm going to go to a different screen. Here we go. Um, it's really that simple, all right? Once you do that and you're doing your own oil change, it is like my touch screen is touching itself. It's probably because the phone's there and it's causing some weird thing. It doesn't know what's going on. But um, that's your biggest maintenance cost really is your... Let me get it off of here, man. I'm tired of that. That's your biggest maintenance cost is the oil change, Right? I don't have the mountain here. Normally, I mount mount the uh, camera like on the windshield or whatever. But so your oil changes your biggest expense. Uh, outside of that, you know your brakes. But look, if you're buying one of these cars, this goes for the ladies too. All right, and I can tell you many ladies that do their own work. Uh, shout out to shout out to my girl Sasha Too Smooth. She's actually a mechanic. But there's a lot of ladies like Coco, um, cars with Coco. They do all their own work. Now here's the thing: Are you gonna be like, let me change, a, let me change my valves or adjust my valves or whatever? Nah. All right, I get that. Obviously, right? Am I gonna replace an MDS solenoid? Nah. But that's the one other thing that I'm gonna get to in a minute about the manual over automatic. Um, the clutch in my car seems fine. Clearly, if you watch my videos or you see me race this at the track, I obviously don't take it easy on the car. I beat on it pretty hard. Um, I have gone through three rear ends. Now, um, two of those were covered under warranty. One of those I had to pay for because I upgraded from a 307 to the 309. Uh, those rear ends, again, I was drag racing the car, so there's a difference. We're like 1100 bucks. It was like 1100 bucks for me to upgrade to the 309. So I think the other one was like 900 bucks. So. Your results may vary depending on what you got to pay for yours. That's what I paid for mine at the dealer. Installed. 1100 bucks. Uh, since I put the 309 rear end in, no other problems. So again, biggest cost of maintenance for me has been car washes and oil changes. That's it. Nothing has, uh, I would say, knock on wood, right? Nothing in this car is major has really broken. Uh, the emergency brake has been a little trippy where it had to be adjusted because I thought something was wrong with my rear end trying to back up. It was still catching. Um, but that's about it. Um, what else? Oh, manual versus automatic. I know you guys are going to ask about that. Now, I'm going to say manual for one big reason. One of the things that is definitely going to fail on your car in the time that you have it is an MDS solenoid. Now, what is MDS? I think it's called multi multi displacement system. It's very similar to GM's active fuel management where it will shut down cylinders when you're on the highway and make you like from a four cylinder, I mean from an eight cylinder to a four cylinder. Now, that's cool and all for fuel economy and all that crap, but uh but it sucks when it breaks because I think it's, I, I know I had to do some on the Aspen when we had that and it was like 1400 bucks a pop at the dealer. Now I'm sure you could take it somewhere else and get it done cheaper, but hell no, man. Manuals don't have any of that eco-friendly BS outside of catalytic converters on it. That's it. 
there's nothing else in the computer that's gonna make it run less, do whatever. If you get in the car and you immediately click sport mode, so it's an auto, it's not starving the engine of fuel, it's not doing any of that, this thing will fire right up, run like a rape tape, and you ain't gotta worry about none of that eco-friendly, it's slowing me down, it's pausing my, um, you know, whatever, you ain't got to worry about none of that, all right? So I say manual always. Now what sucks is, I think they're doing away with the manuals, even on the scat packs, after this year for 2021. So that kind of sucks. Um, Speaking of, I want to get into here and show you guys some of the stuff that that's um, going on with it. Oh wow! I don't, wait a minute. Let me. Sorry, my my bad. I'm trying to activate launch control, but you got line lock, launch control. All that stuff is in here. The only thing I wish, and I know if I flash it with a taser, I can make it automatically start and sport all the time. But the biggest thing for me with the manual is it literally starves the car for power in auto mode. I got to go to sport and you can literally feel the car waking up. That's about it. Um, so if you buy a manual, you automatically are fat and people are going to say it's not true because the automatic is faster than the manual. Okay, whatever. Think that if you want to roll in 60, 60 to 120 runs in this car, in the manual, you should punish an automatic every single time. You just should. There's nothing else. There's no hesitation. I don't need a pedal commander. I don't need none of that. So there's just a, a couple other extra things in it. Everything else works great on it, man. The air conditioning's great. The sunroof's great. I mean, I, I, I love, I really love the car. 20,000 miles in. I think it's one of the better decisions um, that I made. I'm glad that I, 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 I made the move and picked up a few Dodges. Um, you know, with the trucks and now the cars, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Anyways, guys, this was just a short video. Oh, by the way, shout out to my people over at Karma Watches. You can see I got the executive on right now. I got the Cinder Company out of Boston, Massachusetts. Love the love the watches, by the way. Love the watches. Enjoying them thoroughly. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys my 20,000 mile thoughts. Um, biggest question I got was how much have I paid in maintenance and the cost is really in daily driving nothing oil changes car washes that's it um you know the rear ends that's on me for drag racing you know when you when you drop the clutch at 4,000 rpms and you're running sometimes you're gonna blow up a rear end I mean it just happens but um that said I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at Dallas for the big showdown too uh, I think you can go over to Demonology on YouTube's uh, his channel over on YouTube. There should be a link over there. If I could find the link to it, I'll put it in the description down below for you guys that want that as well. I will be there. There's going to be a lot of other people that are going to be out there racing. It's going to be a really good time. I'm going to enjoy myself. I can't wait to put this car through the paces again now that I've had much more time um, on the track. So, with that said, hopefully the video was somewhat informative to you. If you're looking at picking up a manual charger and you are not a charger, a manual challenger, and you have questions and you want to know, well, TK, what exactly, uh, what exactly do I need to do? Um, you know, what, what what do you recommend? Or, you know, what should I do? I just bought one. What's the first thing I should do to it? Or if you have questions about the car. Uh, you know, maybe you're going to purchase one and you want to know something about a specific thing with the car. Hit me up in the comments right down here below. I'll try to answer as many of those as I can. Um, if there's a maintenance thing or something you want to know about, maybe a pulley or a belt or, you know, uh, a transmission thing or a drive shaft thing, I'll try to do my best to answer all of that. Um, but with that said, that's going to do it for today's video. Very, very basic short video because uh, I got some things I got to do today, guys. Um, on the family front, um, we had a a member a member of the a, a member of and you guys know some people know like I have a I have a lot of family and it ain't all blood. Blood is blood does not de define your family. In case for y'all that don't know, but we had a, a member of the family pass away, so I'm gonna be doing uh, some things on stuff for them. So, anyways, with that said, if you guys have questions, comments, I'm gonna do my best to answer them in the comments section down below. We do have an also have a YouTube giveaway with multiple channels 
Um, go check that out. It is here on the channel, a multi-channel giveaway with 4,500 in cash with an extra thousand in crypto. If you pick crypto, 5,500 in crypto and a Rolex Yacht Master. You can't beat it. It's actually a really, it's an interesting, different type of giveaway with myself and several other channels. Uh, make sure you go tap in, go to the video, subscribe to all those channels and don't miss out on it. We're almost half, at the halfway point. It's about to be up. So you better get in it, get in where you fit in. And, and you know, look, I just don't want to hear something like, oh, I got here a day too late. I missed out. Yeah, well, look, man, I don't know what to tell you. It's free. You ain't got to buy a t-shirt. You ain't got to buy no merch. You ain't got to do none of that. All you got to be is subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, keep it moving. Comment. Go follow the video, all the rules and conditions and all that stuff are in there. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.